All right, guys, so what you're about to see is a video about nothing. I know this in advance because I already shot all the footage. So basically, a sequence of unfortunate events happened. First thing is, I was coming back from Chattanooga the other day, heading towards Knoxville, and uh, a Porsche, I guess it was a 911, I don't know, it was a Carrera, blew by me. And so I decided to have a little fun with them. And before anybody gets all crazy, I know it's not a real race. Um, there's no way that my 370 is going to compete with that thing. But still, I just want to have a little bit of fun with them. And I had my GoPro, but I didn't have my window mount. So I, was, so I caught up to him, and I was hand-holding the camera. Um, and I thought I was recording. I know I pressed the button. And I was busy, you know, paying attention to driving and all that kind of stuff. And we were going to have a good time. And uh, what happened really was my battery on my GoPro was dead, so I didn't record anything. So then I picked up my cell phone and uh, recorded about four seconds of nothing, which I'll show you now. So anyway, if I had my window mount and uh, my GoPro was charged, that would have been some pretty good footage. We, uh, we went back and forth for about 10 minutes going at it pretty good, and uh, obviously a very cool guy. He knew he could have just destroyed me, but anyway, he was having a little bit of fun, and so was I, so um, all in all, it was, it was just a lot of fun. So unfortunately, I didn't get to capture any of that video uh, with the GoPro. Um, like I said, I thought it was recording the whole time. I was trying to shift, I was trying to drive, and I was trying to handhold the, uh, the GoPro. And I thought I was doing a good job at all three. Turns out uh, the camera wasn't even recording, so there goes that. So anyway, that was the first bad part. What could have been really cool actually uh, was never recorded. Okay, so the second weird thing happened today. It's Friday, so I left the office about 3 o'clock, headed up to 865 Motorsports and Body Works, and I was going to do a uh, progress update video for you guys. Well, it turns out there really wasn't a lot of progress. It also turns out that around here, when somebody says they're going to show up to do something, they actually don't show up. So, if I ran my business that way, I'd be out of business. But anyway, um, I did get a little bit of footage, there was a little bit of progress, and I'll show you that uh, video now. Alright guys, so not much of an update, but the lift is here. Um, it's just not installed yet, obviously. Uh, more Mach 1 parts have shown up. And one of the good things is that the, uh, the copier machines are finally gone. So it makes it look a lot bigger in here. Alright guys, here's just a little sneak peek of something that's coming, I'm, I'm not sure when, but uh, they're getting a dyno that's going to be uh, recessed into the floor, so that's going to be pretty nice. So unfortunately, like I said, not a whole lot of progress going on over there. Um, it does seem like things are going to start moving next week though, hopefully, actually tomorrow, we'll see. I'll try to get some footage of that as well. Okay, so the third weird thing also happened today, realizing I had no footage to show you guys, I came home and uh, was going to do a car wash. And while I was washing the car, I was going to tell you guys about some updates I was going to do to the car, that kind of thing. All right, so I got everything ready, and then I did the wheels, and uh, for some reason it took forever to clean the wheels. They were really dirty. But they were all clean, and um, shortly after that, I was getting ready to wash the car. I got my foam gun ready, foam can, whatever it's called, ready, and uh, my hose splits, and what you'll see in the video. And then shortly after that, it splits in a second spot. So rather than having time to talk to you guys about you know some of the updates I want to do to the car, um, how to wash it as fast as I could. Okay, so the second weird thing happened during the car wash. I spotted this crazy bug, um, and I might have video footage of it. I don't know. What is this thing? But as I was washing the car. This thing kept chasing after me, literally chasing after me. So I was running all around the car. I don't have any video footage of it because it would have been pretty funny. But uh, he eventually flew away. So between the hose breaking and the, um, the bug chasing me around the car, I didn't have time to talk about uh, some of the updates I want to do. So here's some of the video of the car wash and some of the weird things that happened. And for some reason, I decided to record some bumblebees. I don't know why. Halfway through the car wash. Um, but since I filmed them, I'm going to put them in the video. Anyway, here it is. Okay, so I don't have one of those little funnels to get the gallon size over into the 16-ounce uh, bottle. 
So what I'm going to do is take the cap off this, stick it in here, and hopefully not spill a whole bunch. But at least if I do, um, I'm going to use it to wash the car anyway. All right, so that didn't work out too bad. The container's full, and uh, that's about the normal amount I put in the bucket anyway when I'm cleaning the wheels. So all in all, somewhat of a success. Hey guys, so far from the wheel cleaning kit, uh, the wheel woolly from Adams is by far my favorite uh, tool for cleaning the rims. All right, I don't know what took so long, but it took me like 30 minutes to clean the wheels. They were really dirty. Something about the rotors on these cars too, they, they rust like instantly. I don't know if you can see this, but the, uh, the soap line on this container is marked right about here. But really it's just a little bit at the bottom is all you need for a car this size. So that's about the amount that I put in. Certainly not camera shy. So this is good news. The hose just split. So here's how you turn a bad thing into a good thing. The only problem is my foam gun's not going to have any uh, pressure now. Let's see. No. Alright, now it's like an automatic car wash. Alright guys, I gotta wash this thing as fast as I can before the hose breaks the rest of the way. Good thing I kept my old hoses, I just don't feel like going to get them right now. Alright, another good thing, undercarriage wash. Alright, so here's the original one. Number two just started. These hoses are crap. I think we paid like 30 bucks a piece for them at Home Depot. Um, I'm going to try to find the link so nobody buys them. Alright, so that was the crappiest and quickest car wash in history. But look what's happening here. So anyway, I'm going to go shut the water off now and uh, throw the hose in the garbage. Okay guys, here's my, here's my public service announcement. This thing is called Pocket Hose by Bulbhead.com. Yep, Bulbhead.com. It's junk, don't buy it. All right, so after all that drama, I gotta dry this thing off now. Clearly there's no wax left on this car. Okay, so since the blower didn't work because there's no wax on the car, I'm going to use the Adams towel to dry it off. I know this thing looks dirty, but it's actually uh, it's actually clean. I just washed it a couple days ago. Alright, so it's all dried off now. I'm definitely going to put some wax on it tomorrow. But right now I'm going to go take it for a spin around the block to get the uh, rust off the rotors. Alright, back from the short drive. Rotors are cleaned off. Car's looking good. See guys, I wasn't lying. It's basically a video about nothing, so I apologize for that. So hopefully the next video is a little more interesting. Hopefully the shop gets updated, and hopefully everybody shows up to do the work they said they were going to do. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. I realize it's about nothing, but uh, that alone should give it a thumbs up. Also comment. I think the thumbs up in the comments help move it up to the uh, YouTube recommended list. So, um, you know, that gives me more views. 
So anyway, speaking of views, we're at about 8,600 right now. Um, I think you need 10,000 to start monetizing your channel on YouTube. So we're pretty close. And uh, I'm not going to wrap my car in some stupid colors or anything like that to get more views. I'm just not going to do it. However, probably will do uh, Expel or something like that later on um, once my cousin repaints the front end. There's my favorite dogs. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I sincerely appreciate it, and we'll see you soon.